t-shirt the it girl of dance pop got dumped by her celebrity glazing ex all because he wasn't fight to meet Taylor Swift. Hi my name's Stuffy and this is one of the dumbest reasons why someone split up with a goddess. In case you're living in a cave, Keisha Rose Sebert, known as Keisha, is a 37 year old American singer and songwriter known for popular hits in late 2000s and early 2010s such as TikTok, I'm stuck, make it pop, DJ, who we are cannibal and most animation and gacha kids all-time favorites die young this animation video was my roman emperor i was aspired to be like the wolf After a trip back to the early days, let's come back to a recent Ellie interview where she spills all the tea from her background stories, balance against lawsuit and her freedom, to her current love life and current state. During her 37th birthday, she got a big wake-up call to start living like a free woman, but also got a literal phone call. That one had happened three months earlier, when her lawyer said that she would reclaim the legal rights to her own voice. She was just 18 years old in 2005, when she first signed a six-album deal with songwriter and music producer Dr. Luke. Yeah, the lad who worked with Katy Perry on her new song, Woman's World. HGBT write me a pop song about feminism that's written by a misogynist singing about the body and face first then their personalities. Hey Katy Perry, the song's done and oh, don't forget to wear less clothes on an MV cause empowerment, you know? Sexy, confidential, intelligent. Nine years later, in 2014, Kesha dropped a bombshell when she filed a civil suit against Dr. Luke Boss for infliction of emotional distress, <coughs> harassment, and assault. However, he denied the allegations, but Kesha still beholding the term she signed at 18, continued to release albums to fulfill her contract. On May 2023, she released the last record that was cheekily titled Gag Order. If hating me helps you love yourself, do your after nearly a decade spent with lawyers and in courtrooms, in June 2023, they reached a settlement that would dismiss Dr. Luke's claims against Kesha, which by that point was all that remained of their lawsuits against each other. Since then, Kesha has gained full freedom over music and recordings, allowing her to work freely with any producers. So she founded her own label called Kesha's Records and released Joyride. Joy She's now working on a new album, wanting to become the next generation's godmother of pop. I think not only the music industry, but also the entire world will heal and come at peace. Wait, come at peace. Wait. This is my kingdom come. If she released songs that sounds like her late 2000s or early 2010s era, she said the music industry should be terrified of me because I'm about to make some major moves and shift it. I really want to dismantle, I think yeah dismantle right, it piece by piece and shine light into every corner. I hope my legacy is making sure it never happens to anybody ever again. I kind of understand her given that she was in the 2000s era, which by that time the music industry was an absolute disaster behind the scenes. Like Britney Spears and Justin Bieber who were the most obvious victims of the 2000s music industry. So I think I hope she could sign some artists in her label so that the artists won't have to go through what she's been through, like what she said. It's here that Kesha's been fine tuning songs for her very first album as an independent artist. I'm free and it feels good. I have a reminder in my phone that says you're free. Here she's talking about her past emotions, how vulnerable she felt when she recorded Gag Order. And her new song Joy Ride was her freedom, happiness, and it's time to have fun and party again era. The feeling of freedom is way better than anything else in this world. Nothing beats the feeling of doing whatever you want without worries or anything on your mind. So I absolutely understand how she's feeling right now. The song was not only written about her lawsuits, but also her past relationship. I had a feeling that he was in it for the wrong reasons and was a bit of a star trucker. Star 
Tetris says of her ex, I decided to test that theory and took one of my friends instead of him to Taylor Swift's party. He came over the next day and broke up with me. She confessed this split up reason on Twitter and a follow up tweet clarifying that this wasn't even a new relationship as she wrote they were together for a year and a half. Oh my day, she completely dodged a whole missile with this one. The fact that her ex outed himself as the fame and connection glazer is insane. Well, at least he's shown his true self. Well, late than never. It's just, it's just so childish and stupid. Oh my, ah, it's giving, it's giving middle school breakups or even lower than that. Gosh. However, she still believes in romance, only if one treats her as well as she treats herself. I kept hearing people say, I'm looking for the one. I kept waiting for somebody else to fill that space. And then I just stepped into it myself. You gotta be all those things to yourself. Your own boyfriend, spoiler. Rich husband, best friend, cheerleader, I start taking myself on vacations, shopping sprees, bougie dates, wow, posh, posh, celebrating the heck out of myself. Then joy I start being written on my mind, I was like, God, I am the one though. After reading this paragraph, I realized I need to treat myself well too. That is, if I have, but right now, you get me. Even if she compares dating in LA to digging through the carpet, God, just when I thought Tinder wouldn't be worse. Um, okay, after reading this, I will never set foot in LA. But for love, of course. She hasn't written off the possibility of falling in love again. Can I use this LA interview as like my version of a dating app? She asks, get the hot pictures popping. Let's see who we get. Anybody want to change the world? Me, me, Kesha, I'm free, I'm free. I'm free this weekend, all day and all night, so. Baby, don't hurt me. You know, DM me through my Insta. Give me a call. Wrist. I still can't blink. Uh. Please, Kesha, just one chance, please. I love your music when I was a kid, please. Check the wrist, check the wrist, check the wrist. Give your now we know that Joyride has such deep meanings and history. It's always those upbeat, happy dance tunes that has the deepest meanings in lyrics. Some might wonder how she got her music talents from. Well, my friend, there's finally an answer for it. Kesha was born in LA and raised in Nash Valley by Patricia Pip Subert, a single mom who worked as a country singer-songwriter. Known for Oak Flames Can't Hold a Candle to You, made famous by Dolly Parton on her album Dolly Dolly Dolly. She's an iconic songwriter, says Kesha, hoping to put out an album her mom made in the 1980s under her new label. Her mom also supported Kesha through her career, co-writing Your Love Is My Drug. Yeah, 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 is my drug. Yeah, yeah. She also helped her through many years of struggles, including that time when she was battling her eating disorder. In a new interview, PB Siebert tells People magazine the 26-year-old who checked into rehab just weeks ago nearly died from anorexia and bulimia, saying, quote, the doctors told me her blood pressure and sodium levels were so low, they'd never seen it that low except with someone who'd had a heart attack or stroke. They said it was a miracle she hadn't already dropped on stage. Her mom held my hand for this whole process, Kesha says. When I was coming up, I wish there was some woman in pop music that I could have reached out to and talked to her about the stuff I was going through. But I found more support from the rock boys. The rockers? What? Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, Pat Smear, and Alice Cooper helped me talk through things. Hey, Alice Cooper and Foo Fighters mentioned. I'm actually flabbergasted. Kesha has connections with Alice Cooper. Alice D. Cooper. And Foo Fighters. And I when I sing what? What? Is, is this real? Is this real? Oh my gosh. What? 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 But after I know who Dave Grau really is, <clears throat> his affair and outside child, <clears throat> there goes my hero. Watch him as he goes.
by 2016, Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande, and Kelly Carson all showed solidarity with Kesha on social media. I'd like to take this moment to publicly support Kesha, said Adele that year at the Brit Awards. Taylor Swift donated 250k towards Kesha's legal fees. And now she does acupuncture. Gosh, this word is long. Medication, journaling, juices, and attends dance classes. Being in myself after the life I've led is a full time job, and self care is my number one most important thing. Because if I want to be making music, all of these has to come first. I prioritize myself. Yeah, after reading this, I think I'm gonna run away and move to a small village and be like Kesha. So that's how I went from her ex exposing himself as a celebrity writer to a spiritual soul cleansing era after funding Kesha Records. Change your lyrics on a song on TikTok from feeling like P. Diddy. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, up, Grab my glasses, I'm out the to F. P. Diddy. Wake up in the morning like fuck P. Diddy. Grab my glasses, I'm out the and embracing freedom. Gosh, I wish I could feel what she's feeling right now. The pure joy of loving and spoiling yourself, not care about anyone. <laughs> That you don't love, of course. Comment down if you think her self-love era was very girl boss of her, or her ex was a total glazer of Hollywood, or even a skull emoji and one one for her ex. So yeah, let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, anyone remember Pitbull and Kesha's Timber? I used to play that on Just Dance. <laughs> it's going down. I'm getting timber, you better move. You better dance. Bye-bye.